Welcome everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be playing Prison Simulator by Baked Games. And thank you very much for all of your uh, prisoner name applications. I've already added them as per your uh, choices. So let's go through them. We've got Johnny Bungalow here. A, uh, well, negligent homicide he's in for. He worked for as a living uh, for a living as a caterer. He loves to spend time canoeing. Police officers caught him and arrested him for negligent homicide using a jar of peanut butter. What? He was sentenced by the court to 23 years in penitentiary. He is a widower with no children. He believes the earth is flat. Oh god, and he has evidence of it. All right. We've got Turd Ferguson, who's an aggressive uh, drug seller. He worked for a living as a clairvoyant. In his free time, he likes to work in volunteering. Officers arrested him for selling drugs. He was given a penalty of death, but with an un uh, undefined date. He lived with his mother. He believes that aliens have taken control of him. Vladimir Antonov is, uh, well, genocide, apparently. He worked for his living as a financial advisor. In his free time, he likes to make plates and vessels with clay. I thought it was going to say in his free time he likes to do genocide or something. He was arrested for genocide with the help of a... Uh, Gamepad. He was sentenced to four years in penit. What? He hates Dill. He was he sentenced to four years for genocide. Also, how was he doing that himself? I guess he was like a military leader somewhere. Painted Tommy Jack Jordan. was stealing candy bars from the grocery store. He worked for a living as a delivery man. As a hobby, he likes to watch funny cat video clips on the internet. He was sent to prison for stealing candy bars from the grocery store. He was given a penalty of one year in penitentiary. Oh, I can sort of understand that. He has a wife and two children. He hates Dill. Also, he'll be friends with Vladimir Antonov, the genocide maker. Twitchy <laughs> Rippers. He worked for a living as a warehouse worker. He loves to go on mountain trips. He was arrested for breaking into apartments using a pepper spray. The court sentenced him to two years of imprisonment. He is a widower with two children. He believes the earth is flat. Uh-oh, another one. Grim Gork. He worked as a painter. As a hobby, he likes to play video games. Police officers caught him and arrested him for possession of games from an illegal source. He was sentenced by the court to death penalty. <laughs> with an undefined date. What? He is a widower with two children. He believes that aliens have taken control of him. So he's... He's got the death penalty for pirating games. Also, by the way, um, a lot of people have taken body shapes that have tattoos, but as soon as I selected the appropriate head that people wanted, the tattoos disappeared. So, yeah, sorry about that. A lot of people, well, I guess are not going to get the tattoos that they might have wanted. I don't know. John mm -hmm. Bug is uh, a murderer who worked for a living as a tailor. As a hobby, he likes to write articles about games. Officers arrested him for murder with the help of a cable. He was given penalty of four years in penitentiary. He has a wife and two children. He is allergic to peanuts. Oh, I like peanuts. Berth Robinson <laughs> is uh, working for... Well, who works for a living as a comic book artist. In his free time, he likes to play mobile games. He was arrested for poaching. He was given a penalty of death. But with an undefined date, he is divorced and has three children. He believes that aliens have taken control of him. Yeah, we've, we've kind of seen that a, a few times now. Freddy Frungle worked for a living as an amateur porn actor. As a hobby, likes to read motivational and mindfulness books. He was sent to prison for poaching using a machete. He was sentenced to the, uh, by the court to 10 years in penitentiary. He has a wife and one child. He suffers from post-traumatic... Uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome after participating in the reality show in the reality show okay he's an aggressive poacher john oscar salberg he worked as a gambler he loves to cut bonsai trees officers arrested him for toy store robbery using a machete he was sentenced to death penalty with an undefined date he's a widower with two children he is fluent in five languages wow Crimson Artist worked as an amateur porn actor as well. In his free time, he likes to run. He, has, uh, he was sent to prison for murder using a spoon. He was given a penalty for death of death, but with an undefined date. He has a wife and one child. He believes the current president is a reptilian. He'll go along well with the alien guys. Rail Ionan. Uh... He worked as a nurse. In his free time, he likes to spend time canoeing. He was arrested for robbery, assault with a fatal outcome, with the use of a pillow. Okay. He was given penalty of death. He lived with his parents. He is allergic to peanuts also. I was kind of expecting this to be like a six-month sentence or something. Or the six months for the genocide guy. 
Mike Oli. He works as a car mechanic. As a hobby, he likes to take the neighbor's dog for a walk. Police officers caught him and arrested him for possession of drugs. He was given penalty of death. He's fluent in file languages. Well, he'll be friends with Rail, then. No, sorry. Her, uh, John Oscar Salberg. All right, Metrius, like Metrius, like Butras, Butras. He worked as a diviner. In his free time, he likes to cut bonsai trees. He was arrested for insulting a public figure. He was sentenced by the court to death. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we live? Where is this country? Is this, is this like North Korea? He is a widower with two children. He sold both of his kidneys, but one was returned to him after a complaint. Okay. We have uh, a very original A Prisoner, A Prisoner. He worked as a bioenergetherapist. Oh god, it's one of those. After work, he loves to work in his garden. Officers arrested him for poaching with the use of a firearm. Yep, penalty, death. Yep, yep, I expected that. He lived with his parents, he hates Dill. Also likes, uh, hates Dill. And Dave Osaurus, he works as a living f uh, as a writer. In his free time, he likes to watch anime. He was sent to prison for brutal rape, jeez. He was given penalty of 11 years in penitentiary. He lived with his mother. He hates Dill. All right. I suppose we can finish this and go. Finish. In the gang creator, you can choose which uh, who joins one of the three gangs. Oh, geez. You can choose a symbol for each gang. Press on the plus icon and choose one of the available symbols. Enter a name for the gang below the icon. You can add prisoners to each gang as you like, minimum 3, maximum 5. To randomize all, we'll place prisoners between gangs and we'll choose a random icon if you haven't selected one. Wow. Squirrels? Foxes? Bears? Okay. That's interesting. Should we randomize all? Uh, yeah, let's, let's... There we go, we got... <laughs> we got squirrels, foxes, and bears. And only Turd Ferguson is not in a gang. Alright, well, let's do... How is this foxes? No. This will be squids. And this will be hawks. And this will be, um... Let's do something stupid, like, uh... Vampire... Uh... Fox badgers. Oh, I can't do that much. Okay, fact, fox is fine. Even though that's not a fox, I guess, but... There you go. Alright. It's, uh, it's getting quite interesting. Remember, during a shower routine, the more prisoners take a shower, the better bonus you'll get. Okay, so I guess you have to beat them towards the showers or something. I don't know, I've never played this before. This is going to be completely blind. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Intro cutscene, huh? Baked Games presents. I thought he had the cigarette in his nose. Loud! Yeah, there's gonna be more music in the game. I think we're gonna have to lower the volume. Welcome to Prison Simulator. To follow updates and reports, you have a problem. Your main task is to carry out routines assigned to you for the day. Check uh, the list in the journal, the fall J. During the day, react to prisoners' bad behavior, either by talking to them or by using force. And between routines, you can uh, use your free time and enjoy fun of it. Look at that! They did the right with the apostrophe for the plural. Prisoners' bad behavior. Wow, I, I've rarely seen the appropriate appropriate use of apostrophes like that all right uh, most of your actions are evaluated by other guards and prisoners which what, why do they have, uh, do it which affects your level of respect the overall level of respect bottom left corner of the screen is the average of your individual relationship with the prisoners during your free time you can relax by playing mini games doing side quests or reacting to in-game events all right <clears throat> Respect. Prison guards, 40%. Prisoners, 40%. Your money, $10. Talk to the guard. Health. We've got health. We've... Oh. 
Okay, that's how you okay equip stuff. All right. Hello, Richard Bryant. Uh, Mitrius, Mit oh, he hates Mitrius, Mitrius. I could become a police officer. Hello, you must be the new correctional officer, right? I'm Richard. Nice to meet you. Oh, Richard, nice to meet you too. So, do you have many any questions before we go to Warden? He wants to talk with you before your shift. Uh, tell me something about this prison. Well, it's like any other prison. Dangerous if you're not careful. One day an inmate acts normal and the other day he stabs you with a shank. You can't trust them. But there are some pros too. Like we have a really nice social room where you can rest a little, drink coffee or play some darts. Oh, did you hear about the last riot here? No. A few months ago, there was a big riot. The prisoners managed to open all the cells and were trying to take over the facility. It was exactly the day after the new officer arrived. You would think, what a lucky guy to have a riot the next day after starting on duty, but turns out that it was the prisoners who were the unlucky ones. That guy was like one man army. Or like John Wick from that action movie, where bad guys killed his cat. He managed to end his riot almost alone. And a few days... Uh, after a few days, oh no, and a few days after that, there was a blackout and he saved the day again. That was a great guy. What happened to him? He's not working here anymore. He had some disagreement with the warden. I think it was about money. Anyway, any more questions? Some advice for the rookie? Hmm, well, I think most things you're gonna learn from the warden, but I can tell you about respect. You can gain the respect from both sides, prisoners and officers, depending on your actions. If you do your job properly, like maintaining order, securing contraband, and helping others, the officers will be pleased. Prisoners, not so much. And if you don't want to have a quarrel with inmates, sometimes it's good to turn a blind eye to their actions. They'll appreciate it. Or at least try not to beat them every single time. So you're literally telling me to let them do the bad things? Shh, not that loud! I said sometimes, and only the small things. And of course try not to get caught by another officer, or he'll be displeased. Uh oh, we wouldn't want another officer to be displeased. Okay, but what can oh, what can that respect gain? A peaceful job? If someone likes you more, he can be more friendly towards you. And who knows? Maybe he'll save your ass in a moment of need. Or he'll be the source of your nightmares if you get under his skin too much. Or he'll invite you to dinner. And what if none of the prisoners or none of the officers respect me? If that really happens, then in the prisoner's case, most likely there'll be another riot. In the officer's case, well, probably you'll lose your job or the warden will cut your salary. So my advice, try to keep it balanced or gain a lot of respect on both sides, but that's impossible, I think. Anyway, any more questions? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, then, now, let's go to the warden. Oh, go to warden, apparently. Oh, one more thing. If you ever feel lost, use a map. It's under the M button. Or whichever. And I hope you took basic equipment from the locker. You can equip yourself with mouse scroll or under one seven buttons. Ready? Now oh, follow me. Where's the locker? I guess we've already equipped it. Oh, emergency box. With pistols. <clears throat> so. Apparently, if my respect for prisoners goes down to zero, everything's fine here. Uh, will there will be a riot? I don't know why it's up just to me, but hey. Ah, uh, there's warden, not the warden, but warden. You know, warden. Whistle, whistle. Oh, you must be the new guy. I'm Kenneth, your new warden. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Nervous, huh? I'm good, just a little. Don't worry, your first day shouldn't be too hard, I think. Just don't show any sign of fear, the inmates can smell it. Okay, now let's get back to business. Here's your duties for today. You can check them in your journal. It was J button, if you recall. You can read there uh, that that was what has to be done. I'll mark it on your map where you should go first. And after each routine, you have free time, so you can rest a bit. Or check out the facility, or just relax. We have a nice social room with coffee and stuff. When you're done with your duties, go to the briefing room to report your day. And I think that's all. Any questions? Hypothetically, what happens if I get hurt or am beaten really bad? In the second case, you'll end up in an infirmary. And if you get hurt, you can get some medicine there or just eat a snack. You can find them in the vending machines. It's like, oh no, my hand is bleeding. Get me a Snickers quickly. Ah, oh, better. And something else? Where's the toilet? In the social room, of course. Any other questions? When we get paid? Every day after your report. The better the job is done, the bigger the payment you get. Something else? Alright. Questions about raises will be ignored. What about my raise? 
Yeah, see, he's ignoring me. I'm good. Great. Now you can go. And good luck. Ah. Go to the cell block. All right, let's see. Journal. Richard says that the warden has a deal. Go to his office as soon as possible. What? Deal? <clears throat> We've already done that. Checking attendance. Open the cell so that the prisoners can go out of the mor uh, for the morning's attendance check. Remember to use the counter. If a prisoner does not show up for attendance, ask him to do so. If this does not help, use direct uh, direct coercion. And then free time, and then check the parcels. Okay, so. Um, I'm assuming I have to close the stuff behind me? I don't know. Hey, man. Justin oh, Washington. Come on. Here. It's kind of a shame you can't also rename the police officers. You can buy some food if you need. Eating restores your HP. Go to the vending machines and choose something. Pick what you like to have. Set the quantity and confirm. To take food in your hand, open your inventory. Ah, aye. Drag the chosen food in an empty slot. You can then eat it by pressing the shortcut key for that slot. Okay, so... Little goals. There we go. Okay. I don't think I need anything right now. So, there's the cell block. There's the prisoners. Your first task is to check the attendance. Go to the duty office, which is to the left of the entrance, and use the lever to open the cells. Then choose a clicker, default Q, go to each of the prisoners and count them with it. When a prisoner does not go to the assembly, speak to him to find out why he's not cooperating and react when prisoners are not behaving properly. Use one of the tools of direct force. Choose a weapon from the selection wheel. Oh, okay, so... Ah. Okay. There's a nightstick. Clicker! Click, click! Hey, man. There we go. So... The next fucking day. Johnny Bungalow. Alexander Hayes. Oh, he hates him. This Vladimir Antonov. Painted Jack. Twitchy Rippers. What are you doing, man? Grim Gork. Hey, roll call now. Why not? Because because I'm scared. Excuse me? Well, I'm scared of Sam Gonzalez. He threatened me. Said that I'm going to pay. I'd like to stay in my cell today. Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> I don't care about your excuses. But I Get out now. If a prisoner does not stick to the rules, he should be punished. But first, you need to pacify him with a nightstick or a taser. In some cases, a talk is enough, but usually not. Select the walkie-talkie and go to the aggressive person. Use the walkie-talkie and choose one of the available punishments. The prisoner will get a penalty marker over his head. Can be punished anymore today. If you choose solitary confinement as a punishment, talk to the prisoner after you have finished your routine and take him to a marked solitary cell and lock the door. Okay, I think we need to, uh... Um, um, um audio, yeah. It's a little bit too... Now, just so that no one's picking on me. I don't know what John Bug did there. I think he was fighting. For fuck's sake! Hey man, Berth Robinson, why aren't you at roll call yet? I don't feel too good. Yeah, I won't be able to remember what kind of voices I give him, by the way. So, <laughs> there's too many. I'll let the duty doctor know then. Oh, no need for that, I know what's the matter. I'll be okay in a moment, I just need to lie down for a bit. Uh, I'll mark you present. Thanks, a screw with the heart. Uh, screw with the heart is a rare sight. Okay, so, uh, I think we've already done you, right? I didn't... Okay, yeah, we have. John Oscar Salberg. Crimson Artist. Rail Ionen. That cough on your face will never look the same. Mike Mitrius Mitrius. He's not coming out. Prisoner, a prisoner. Hey, you! Hmm? You talking to me? You see anyone else here? Well, it's funny that you mention that. I've had company in myself for some time, but I don't think anyone else sees him except me. I, is it possible that the... Oh, he's a ghost? Ghosts don't exist. 
Where's my garlic and salt? It sounds like you need a doctor. Oh no, I don't trust them. They're kind of trying to cure you, but in reality, they only partly heal you so they can sell you more and more drugs and other medicines just to fill their pockets with money. Um, so no doctor, but you need to leave your cell now. Oh, you need me to leave so you can perform an exorcism? Thanks. You're a crazy prisoner, prisoner. All right, Avasaurus. Oh, that was it. Now it's your free time. You can play mini games or do some side quests. When you notice that someone has an exclamation point above his head, it means he has a quest for you. By doing side quests, you can earn money and gain respect. Other icons like fists or clouds are uh, connected to tasks which you have to complete. Beat someone up uh, or talk to somebody. Tick icon above the prisoner's head means that you have completed your task. You can talk to him about your payment and check the map to find mini games. You can skip your free time by interacting with one of the available benches in the hall. Okay, so I guess I was afraid there was actually going to be a limited, you know, real time, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, so I think I have to. This is your primary tool of direct force. You can't kill with it, but you can pacify the problem prisoner. To attack, press the assigned attack key. To perform a strong attack, hold down the assigned key. Attacking this way uses some of your stamina. You can also protect yourself from blows. You must hold down the assigned defense key. Alright, so we don't... we don't need that. Uh, right, do we have any quests? Let's... let's check the map. Oh, wow! This is actually pretty big. Uh, does it show quests here? What is that? What does that mean? Um, I'm assuming that's some kind of a quest, maybe? Uh, there's no legend here, so I don't know what these icons mean. Oh, so this is... I think this is us. No, that's not us. Okay, I have no idea. So it doesn't actually show our position. No, there there we are. Okay, now I see. So let's go and see what's all this about. I don't know if I have to keep closing doors. I think they might close themselves. Yeah, they do. And these are all empty. Oh. There's more prisoners, but these are not under, I guess, our supervision. So what do we have to do here? Oh, we can rest here? Okay, I see. Oh, these are mini games, aren't they? And there's a shooting range. Uh, and there's also that, which I want to see what that is. Get in I could be, I'm a police officer. <laughs> ah, yes. Welcome to the shooting range. Here you can relax by trading your aim. Go to the selected stand to start. Every stand has a different game mode. Choose one of the available weapons and shoot targets according to the rules of the selected mode. <laughs> There's, um, tear gas, I guess. Clean weapon. Workout? Okay, so, let's see. I'm pretty bad at this stuff. The targets appear in random order. You have to destroy X targets to gain as many points as you can. Uh, let's do the riot gun. Let's see. Deterioration. You need to clean this weapon. Damage. Rifle. Jeez. Even stronger rifle. Wait. What do you mean even stronger rifle? This is this is an SMG, not a rifle. And this certainly looks stronger than that one. Self-repeating weapon designed for suppressing riots inside the prison. It's equipped with a scope and an arm wield. Arm wield? Fires non-lethal rubber bullets, strong enough to neutralize a prisoner with a single shot in the head without killing him. Aim by moving the mouse to take a shot, press or hold left mouse button, press right mouse button to switch aiming mode. When all the ammunition is expended, the weapon will reload automatically. Okay, so best is head and center. Wow. I'm actually surprised. This, um... I was expecting... I was expecting this shooting mechanic to not be as good and responsive. Also, the animation was pretty darn good there. Oh, you little... I knew it was going to do that. Some of them seem to take two shots, but I think it's just the spread of the, um... of the gun. 
88% task completed. Oh, excellent. Check the parcels. Oh, so that was my free time. Okay. Can I clean the gun? No. We actually got respect from uh, the prisoners and the prison guards, it seems, by doing the shooting. Am I going the right way? Yes. Ah, so these are tasks. You can see marked on the map. Okay. We need... So there was also something here. Guard's room. Ah. There was probably a quest here. Here you and your friends can rest, look for available entertainment, like playing cards or darts. Yeah, I'm assuming this uh, had a side quest. Right. Let's see if we can find some contraband. I thought we had free time, but I guess not. I mean, not anymore. During this routine, you have to check the contents of packages for illegal contraband. Go to the shelf and take one package and then put it on the table. <clears throat> Checked. Unchecked. Oh, it says John Bungalow. Metrius, Metrius, okay. To begin searching, open the lid of the box. Pick up the item from the box, inspect the item by rotating it, and check inside. If you find something, check it. Oh, check it. Uh, checked items, put back in the parcel. Wow, uh, English is kind of deteriorating, apparently. So open and default right mouse button. If you find contraband, confiscate it for destruction by the prison or take it for yourself. Place checked packages on the second shelf. Don't try and cheat by placing unchecked packages here. Okay, so... What was that? Oh, E. How I met your father. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, let's see. Can't... I want to read it. Where does it come from? <laughs> okay. So, uh, parcel searching. When you search all items, um, close the lids by pressing that button. Lift the box with E key. Okay. Leave item. Press E. Whoa. Take on. Okay. So leave this item. Chicken tits. <laughs> are we really going to open this? I guess we are. Yeah, but there's... I can't check inside, I guess. Novea Alpha. Ah, contraband. Ah, there we go. Uh, take secure. Oh, that was quite expensive. There's pills. Is that... What is it? Paracetamol. Okay. I don't know if that's allowed in the prison, but... I guess. Apples... Something. Oh, wow. That's a lot of, uh... Little pills. I don't know what they say exactly. Yeah, it's candies. Oh, wait. These are candies. It's not pills. Okay. I guess that's okay. Him... Him... His, him... His. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Hershey's, but the Him... His chocolate? Oh, man. I want some chocolate. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, was that it? I think that was it. Uh, proceed. Take parcel. I'm... There we go. So this is Metrius Metrius. <clears throat> Palm tree men. Nothing there. Ugh. Why are all these so grungy and... Anti-Zarzathonics. Kills everything. Ah. Secure that. We're a good warden. Candies. Yep, these look like candies to me. Ugh. These. It looks fairly good, actually. Uh, I don't know if there's anything back there. I don't think there is, but... Alright, so Metrius Metrius gets that. John Bug. Let's see what you're getting. Dual men care. Oh, dude men care. Smell like a meadow. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. See, this one is okay. The others are so freaking grungy. A blue flux yelled. I don't know what these are, but. 90 tablets. Sweet peas. Oh, okay. Well, he's all good. It seems. And this one is for Rail Ionan. 
hope I'm pronouncing that right. Wow, he's getting a lot of bamboo stuff. Ugh. I like the sound effect though, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's not good. We're gonna secure that. And we've got a lot of mmm risotto in a can. <laughs> I've, I've never had ris Ugh. I've never had a risotto from a can. Is that even a thing? I guess it is. 49 shades of any other color. Where does it come from? Again. Okay, that's that. That looks okay. And that looks different. Can I click on it? No. And I cannot secure it. As contraband, so I guess it's okay. They're getting a lot of pills in this uh, place. There we go. Task complete. If you complete all your planned routines or emergencies, go to the briefing room at the end of the oh to end the day. Uh, which way? Oh, there's games there. Uh, so left here. No, is that right? Yeah, I can go through there, right? Yeah. Wow, his head. There's a briefing room. Harry Scott. I understand that you've already done everything. Yes, it's over for today. Not bad, not bad, but it could be better. How could it be better? I did everything perfectly apart from the shooting range. Guards respect, and we also got some prisoner respect. You know, we can't be too hard-assed, I guess. Uh, depending on what they've done, I suppose. Routine's done. Excellent. Nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. this it's going to be quite interesting. A big thank you to my patrons as well. Please give the vi video a like, because uh, that helps me out a lot. Also, place down a comment down in the uh, comment section. And uh, if you'd like to become my patron, you can do so by clicking down in the link or on the video right now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.